In this video, we will be going over what has easily been the best tool for me for shooting videos here on YouTube. What's up everybody, I'm Jake McHugh and this channel is all about making better videos. I do gear reviews and test videos to help you determine what gear you need to make the videos you want to achieve. If that's something that may interest you, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. If you are someone like me and you struggle or stumble while talking on camera, I have found the best solution to all your troubles while it being affordable. This product is called the Parrot Teleprompter V2 Kit by Padcaster, and this product allows you to use your phone as a teleprompter. You can find this kit for as low as $100 now, and as always, I will have it linked down in the description below. Starting off in the box, you will have the teleprompter itself with covers for both sides, instructions, some cleaning supplies, a Bluetooth remote, and a small drawstring bag full of step-up rings for whatever size lens you use, ranging from 37 millimeters to 82 millimeters. The teleprompter is made of plastic and feels a little flimsy, but this is to keep it light in weight and that way it doesn't weigh down your camera lens as it just sits on the end of it. Even though with this plastic design and feel, I really haven't ran into any issues with it thus far, but do know that this isn't something I would recommend being rough with. On the other hand, the step up rings are metal and have a much more rigid and solid feel to them and this is so that way it can support the weight of the teleprompter and your phone. We have a beam splitter glass with a 70-30 ratio of 70% transmission and 30% reflection and this is to reflect your phone displaying your script or outline onto your lens without the camera seeing it itself. Now I would assume there is some minimal degrade in image quality but you won't notice it at all and I didn't see any weird color shifts or loss in detail. I haven't had any issues at all with autofocus with the teleprompter on, nor have I felt like it put too much weight on the end of my lens. I use the Sigma 16mm f1.4, which is a solid or stronger built lens in my opinion, but I could see this putting a little too much weight on maybe a smaller zoom lens like the kit lens from Sony. For mounting this onto your lens, you can see here that I use the Sigma 16mm f1.4 like mentioned before, and I happen to use a step up ring to 77mm. That way I can use my black Promis filter and then attach the 77mm adapter ring that comes with the teleprompter. With the ring on, you can then just slide the teleprompter onto the lens and clamp your phone onto the bottom like so and this makes it easy to take it on and off the lens. I happen to have an iPhone 8 Plus with case but this teleprompter is able to hold a phone of pretty much any size and with being able to adjust the margins and font size, you can get the view that you would like. The spring loaded part on the bottom of the teleprompter does feel like it may break when you're trying to put your phone in, so I recommend that you apply pressures on from both ends by the springs rather than in the middle or by holding the top down before pulling on the bottom. They have the free Parrot app in which you can copy and paste your text into and then adjust the settings like font size and speed along with other settings like lock orientation. The app is pretty straightforward and easy to use, and while it may seem basic, I really haven't ran into any hiccups with it quite yet. What I like to usually do is to type up my script into an app like OneNote or Evernote, that way I can access it from my phone, and then it's just easy as copy and paste into the app. Once the script is into the app, it's just as easy as playing it, and make sure you have the mirror mode on, that way the teleprompter reflects it the correct way to you. The best part of the app is using it with the Bluetooth remote, which I have in my hand here, and this makes it seamless to adjust the script up and down while also being able to start and stop, as well as change the scroll speed as well. Viewing the script is easy to see and read, and I just find this enjoyable to use as it has cut my recording time in over half of what it was before. I find I'm no longer stumbling over my words or forgetting what to say and having to do less retakes. This in turn makes it quicker and easier to edit with having less jump cuts and makes my videos have a better overall flow to them in my opinion. One big drawback when using this teleprompter is the vignetting you get when you use wide angle lenses. Like I mentioned earlier, I use the Sigma 16mm f1.4 and you get a huge vignette because this is such a wide angle lens at being a 24mm full frame equivalent. I personally love being around a 24mm full frame equivalent when shooting talking heads like this for YouTube, but because of this, I'm not really able to and I find that you need to be around a 30 to 35mm full frame equivalent to get rid of the vignette. I am able to still use the Sigma lens by using the clear image zoom feature found on Sony cameras and I find that if I punch in around 1.3 to 1.4 times, I get rid of the vignette completely. Another way to achieve this kind of effect is in post by punching in by 5 to 15% and I recommend only doing this with the modern 4K cameras, preferably something from Panasonic, Fuji, or Sony where the image is really sharp coming out of camera, that way you don't lose any resolution quality. 
This is something that actually kind of bothered me a lot when I first got this product, but after using it a few times, it really has become a non-issue to me due to the fact that it has improved my workflow greatly. And the 35 millimeter focal length is not that bad looking, if not nicer than the 24 millimeter focal length. Another thing worth mentioning is that you could get a much larger teleprompter, one that you could use with your iPad to avoid this issue, but I find that those probably wouldn't be as straightforward and easy to use to work with a remote and app like this one does. Overall, is this worth the $100? For me it is, due to the fact that it has vastly improved my workflow and how much quicker I can record these videos for YouTube. When I first started making videos here on YouTube, I had a very big struggle of looking at the flip out screen and not looking at the lens. With the teleprompter, this goes away due to the fact that my script is right here on my lens and I'm not stumbling or blanking out on what to say and it makes for a much better overall experience when making videos. Obviously with time, being on camera more often will make you more comfortable in general, but I think this product will speed that process up much more quickly. So that's gonna do it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the bell, that way you get notified when I drop future videos just like this one here. And last but not least, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.